Joey's antics get him into trouble during his blind day on Friends at 8 o'clock on 4, after an insight into the common struggles of teens in the short documentary Teenage Days. These days, teenagers are overly concerned with... The image gets you everywhere. I mean, you don't want to be known as one of the... These are social outcasts, which are easy targets for... Bullies pick on others who they feel are not as clever or as... Good looks are seen as something vital, which stems from the media's... The influence of the people that teenagers hang around with can be a form of... Pressure from peers can lead to all kinds of problems, some that even affect you health-wise. Teenagers are prone to anorexia and begin to... Abuse affects people both physically and... Mentally, boys who bully have low self-esteem and try to be something that they're not. You never get the full story. The social influence a peer group exerts on its individual members leads to thousands of teenagers acting a certain way to fit in and attempt to conform to the expectations within their group. Every day, more and more teenagers find themselves becoming victims of peer pressure. Amir, an 18-year-old A-level student, tells us his story. I never used to be like this. I had no friends, but now you see I got bad. Images, everything. I spent bare on these clothes and they got me recognized. I started dressing like this and they got me places. Fuck dressing like a puff, you get me? At home it's alright. No one to impress, no one can see you. People say I'm going with the wrong crowd. No, I'm blood. Just because I got friends, they hating. I don't, I don't care if I do what they do. They do what I do, straight up. A man's lack of acceptance forces him to have a false persona. Similarly, the lack of confidence within girls pressurizes them to fit a physical ideal. Alicia is a 17-year-old self-conscious girl who aspires to be thin and pretty like the model she sees in magazines. Uh, I was at the shop and then I saw all these magazines and then I saw this one and I bought it because She's so pretty, everything about her is so perfect, like, her features are so nice. Psychologist Felix Economicus of the Heath Clinic observes teenagers within society and tries to provide logical answers to their changing behavioural patterns. A lot of young girls face the pressure to stay thin, to stay, you know, made up, I'm not sure what the word is, and of course that's also who are their role models, you know, we all need to model somebody, we all need to get our values from somewhere, but if the v values of society at large are kind of superficial and what we call spiritually impoverished, then these values are ultimately not going to make you happy. You know things like this, yeah, they're so fake, they never work, it's always like, oh, do this exercise and you'll stomach will get flat and do this and your arms will get toned but it's not true because I've like tried it so many times and it just it takes forever to see results like I do it and then I look in the mirror and I still look the same and I don't know the, the fastest and most effective way of losing weight is just not eating. But nowadays the values that are taught to us through celebrities and the media is about being thin as if it's it's the cure for everything. Wouldn't the world just be a better place if everyone looked like that? Image can be seen as the cause of isolation. Teenagers targeted by bullies tend to fit a particular profile. Bullies often choose teenagers who are passive, easily intimidated or have few friends. Victims may also have a harder time defending themselves. Kunal, an isolated 16 year old, talks to us about his experiences. Life is crap at school. People bully me all the time. Just because I do well in class, I don't want to be like everyone else, you know, wearing fancy Nike trainers, you know, it costs £100, I'd rather save that. Something that really does piss me off all the time is glasses, you know, what's so wrong about glasses? I need glasses to work here, other people need glasses and you don't see them getting cussed down. You know? Why me? Out of everyone in the school, why me? One suggestion is that it's not always about anything he's done. This is much more about what's going on for another group. You know, not everything that happens to us is actually about us. I grew up in a rough area. A lot of the kids there were bigger and tougher than me, and they used to bully me. 
I wanted to fit in with them, but whenever I went out, they noticed me, but not for the right reason. I didn't want to let it change me. I am where I am now because I was never accepted for the real me. Magazines, TV, billboards, everything is plastered with women that are beautiful. There's also interesting studies done on sixth form girls which had a range of artists drawing impressions of girls with slightly different body sizes and the artist said uh, which of these body ranges, and it's all graded incrementally, which of these body ranges do you think boys liked? And um, the girls rated what they thought boys would like, then they asked boys the same question and said which body shape appeals to you? Now what was interesting was the rating that the girls gave was far thinner than what the boys gave. So there's also perception of female perception that you have to be thinner than you actually need to be in order to appeal to men. No matter how hard I try, I can't ever look like them. Where are you going? You ain't coming, the boss. Right. Where are you coming? Their, their perfectness highlights every imperfection in me. Image is everything because nobody ever wants to hang around with an ugly kid. I just, nobody ever likes me for me. School don't really take me, uh, bring me down or anything. It might seem like it, but nah, that's not really me. Outside, I'm true to myself. I used to get proper upset before, but like now I realise, what's the point? They can't do anything with their lives. That's the only reason they like, pick up me here, because they know that I'm going to make it big. The best form of revenge is actually success. Now the thing is, if, you're, if you tend to be clear-minded about what you want and more motivated to do it, um, you're actually holding up a mirror to other people who aren't clear about what they want, who have problems in their own life, and it's easier to smash that mirror rather than try and um, adopt the same policies. Bullying did help me change into a better person because I know that life is about what's in the future and not what they're doing to me now. Learners, oh, no, I don't think that's good. I think that's a proper rule. I think everyone needs friends, isn't it? It's not good to be a learner. I think it's just like an easy target for them, and for them it's always alright for girls to be the butt of the joke kind of thing. People that are weak to peer pressure, I reckon they're either, they're both to blame in it because you should be able to be your own person and do what you feel, you get me? If you're not strong then you shouldn't be allowed in school and you're not going to get nowhere in life so that's your own fault. You ever wait?